Looking back to those years as a publicist, and I don't know what those years were, mm -hmm. what do you see as a different landscape and maybe a tougher landscape or easier for people trying to promote their films today? Oh, well, you know, you've got social media. You know, I mean, I, I when I started, you know, social media was kind of, you know, I mean, it was sort of in the nascent stages and, you know, uh, but really wasn't part of things. You know, people were still, you know, faxing things. I mean, you know, I mean, it was, it was kind of a different period. Um, now, I think, and even like with this play or anything else that I'm, that I'm doing, between Facebook and Twitter and any, and any kind of social media um, or the internet itself, you can just do so much more promotion, so much more sort of homegrown uh, promotion that costs very little, if anything. Uh, so that's a big deal, you know, so you don't have to depend upon running newspaper ads to promote something or, or, or radio ads or whatever. I still think all that's really important, you know, but at least if you have the budget. But when you're doing a, a, pro, a you know, smaller project, there's not always the place for that. So you've got, you know, you've got social media and the internet, which is a, a huge thing, um, which you didn't have back then. I think it makes a big difference. But on the flip side, would you say in some sense that could also be a detriment because now there's so many things competing for people's attention yes. that stuff is so short-lived? Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, if you look at television, there are, what, 500 TV series all together on every platform. You know, the, the eyeballs are so, so you know, diffused. Ratings are so much less. You know, individual ratings are so much less. There's just so much more to take people's attention. So yes, that the, the landscape, the entertainment landscape, is more difficult than it used to be because of of all the different opportun options that people have. Um, but things find their place. You know, when it comes to theater, people still go to the theater. When it comes to movies in a movie theater, people still go to the movies in a movie theater. All, all of that, the, people still watch network television. So it's just about keeping people focused on it, and it's and it's who's making the most noise. You know, is really what it is. So, because we have all this this new media, and because we have so many opportunities to promote things and get the word out, and you know, word of mouth, the concept of word of mouth has always been around. I mean, you know, people forever, people have said, oh, what makes a successful movie? Oh, it's just really word of mouth. It's not necessarily reviews or this or that. It's word of mouth. You know, somebody saying, I saw this, I loved it. You've got to go see it. Um, so you still have that, and there are new ways of getting that word of mouth out now. So it's it's probably a trade off in a way. You know. But ultimately, I think we're, we're probably, it's probably easier to promote things now. I know we wanted to speak to you primarily about writing, but right. just a couple quick questions regarding um, from the eyes of the publicist. Mm. I know you, you don't yeah. do that anymore, but right. um, what did you see with a lot of filmmakers, and I realize a lot has changed in whatever 10 yeah. years or however it's been, but um, what do you see from a lot of filmmakers that were some mistakes and then some things that were very positive that they did to promote their film? Oh, well, a lot of filmmakers, um, when I was doing publicity, and it may be the same now, I don't know, but a lot of filmmakers were kind of against the concept of publicity or promotion or anything that seemed to cheapen the movie. You know, we want the movie to stand on its own uh, or speak for itself. Nowadays, you know, and sometimes you could do things to, to promote the movie, and other times you were more limited, depending upon the kind of movie it was. Now I, I would suspect that, that people are much more interested in promotion because it is so much harder to get people in to see things, and, and there is so much more, uh, you know, visual traffic out there. Um, so probably, hopefully, they're more open to it. And also, because there's so much more media now uh, available to promote something, I think, and, and also, you know, a lot of interviews sometimes are done uh, Q and A's, they're done by emailing in, you know, your answers and things like that. So it's a little bit easier, and it, for, for a lot of people who aren't that comfortable doing interviews, or actors who are uncomfortable doing it, or, or in a different location and can't do it. So hopefully, they're just more open to what's out there, and the fact that you have to promote things to get people in there. You know, people just don't find things; they don't just discover things uh, anymore. And you know, and, and you don't have the time to, to have things sit there to be discovered. If a movie doesn't, nobody sees it that first weekend, it's gone. You know, and a play is very is, is not dissimilar. And the only books seem to have a little bit more time to 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 kind of grow and 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 get the word of mouth that they don't have to take it out of a theater or something they just have to keep it on the shelf and you know hopefully there's room on the shelf on the bookstore shelf or certainly on the amazons or the websites you know it, it's this it's infinite amounts of, of room so i think um you know in that world you know it's still pretty safe but yeah i th i think promotion is very important and i and i always encourage people to you know to promote their work because you want people to see it, you know, you, you don't write, unless you're writing for yourself or writing in a vacuum, you know, you, you want, it's a lot of work, you want people to, to see it and enjoy it. 
Well, do you notice that it seems like maybe more the actors or the producers are fine with doing promotion and interviews, but the writer director wants to stay removed? Have well, you I can't speak for directors, but writers, uh, you know, the writer nature, the kind of basic writer nature is generally uh, at least looked at or thought of as being, you know, more, more low key, more reserved, quieter, more of a loner. You're in your office or your room writing all the time by yourself. You know, there's a, it's a little different mindset, a little different hat that, that, that you're wearing. And so a lot of writers are just not as comfortable doing that. But these are the same writers that have to go into meetings and pitch an idea and put on a show basically for an executive or producer to try to sell something and are good at that. So it's really not that much different. You know, you're still putting yourself out there, having to speak. I mean, some people are just more comfortable uh, in front of, uh, you know, in front of an audience, you know, than other people are. But um, but yeah, I think writers, it's probably not quite, it's certainly not as, as uh, kind of inherent in, you know, in who they are versus like an actor to go out and promote something. And what about the filmmakers who feel that it in some sense cheapens their work yeah. by promoting? And I get how someone could feel that, yeah. but also people want to see who yes, created something. Yes, of course. Something. I mean, I think if, if, if it's some movie that, that there's some cheap promotional stunt is being done that's sort of crass or something, yeah, I mean, there's no reason for that, but they're probably not going to do that for your, for the movie unless it happens to be a movie where that would, you know, that's the the tone of the movie and that would work. Um, by and large, you know, the concept of promoting movies or TV shows or books or plays or anything, it's usually high quality, uh, uh, high quality interviews and high quality things that that people will that will get people to go see something. So you know, I just I, I think sometimes you can't look too deeply into all of that. You just do it and hope that people respond. And then lastly, when someone is interviewed and they're about to, you know, meet the press or go to a junket, whatever, um, how much should they know their own backstory and, and really have something interesting to give people about who they are personally? Not right. just the film and want to thank the actors right. and all that, but people really want to know stuff about yeah. the filmmaker. Well, I think as a, again, I can speak for screenwriters, I think as a writer, it's really important to kind of just kind of remember how you, why you wrote something, how you got to write it, what it means to you. You know, sometimes, we, especially if we write a lot of things, we can forget what each individual project, why it's important to us, or what motivated us to do it, or what our intention was. It's very important to kind of reconnect with that. Um, I think before you, you know, do do an interview. Um, uh, I think I think the writer brings a, a very a very unique perspective to a, to talking about a film because you know the, the 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 film exists because something was written. You know, so it's kind of the foundation. So uh, you've created this. You you basically, unless you're adapting something, you've pretty much created the world that this film was then you know created from. So I think you have to be aware of that foundation, be able to talk about you know again how, how, where it came from. You asked me about where the, this play came from and you know the title and all of that. I mean it just everybody's got their story. So I think you have to you know be aware of your backstory and then what your intentions are and what you hope people will will get from what what they see of your work and what you know again what your what your real intention is in, in putting together a story.